What's up, everyone? It's Wednesday, November 20th, and we are live at 5 here at Broadway.com. I'm Paul Lontorek. And I'm Beth Stevens. And we're joined by Caitlin Moynihan. How you doing, Hello. Caitlin? I'm great. She's great. She's, great. Not, She's hydrating. Day. I'm hi staying hydrated in our Broadway.com water bottle. You know what? Next week we get some days off for Thanksgiving. <gasps> it's almost holiday time. It feels a lot like Christmas around here. Right now it does, because mm. there's a bunch of uh, green and red sequins behind the camera. Yeah, not on us. <laughs> right, right, right. Brooke Avery and Jesse Crouch, Woo! two of the Rockettes are here. From the, Yay. Uh, of course, they're, I saw it last week. The yeah. Christmas Spectacular at Radio City. It's a City. tradition. Fantastic as always. Uh, we're going to talk all about this annual holiday tradition, but first, today's top five. We found out which Broadway cast have been nominated for a Grammy. Yay, Grammys are coming, and the Grammy nominations came out this morning. Are you ready? For sure. the cast albums. Ain't too That's the only category we care about. Yeah, there are other people, apparently. <laughs> like Ariana Grande and, and Lizzo. That's not people important. People who sell a lot of records. Not important. We're going to talk about Broadway. <laughs> There's one category at Broadway.com, and it's the Broadway cast album. Ain't Too Proud. Well, and the actors get Including the, the, yes. the principal actors. Yes. So James Harkness, Juwan M. Jackson, Jeremy Pope, and Ephraim Sykes. I'm not going to name all the actors. I'm just going to name the this, this shows. Hades Town, Moulin Rouge, the musical, a play. The music of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, mm -hmm. and the revival of Oklahoma were all nominated, as well as some pop stars and other things. You know what I find interesting about this? Tell Normally me. when I look at the category, I feel like the album that has music that sort of goes beyond the Broadway sound does well because of the voters, I feel like. Mm. And But this year, a lot of these a lot of them are, are not very your pop traditional. And, and you know, music people will know. So it's going to be interesting to see what wins. What has the edge, Beth? It's a good question. Caitlin? It's a good question. Will I Rouge? All of them. So, uh, yeah, okay. All of, we'll oh, see. We'll very, find out when. It was when. very diplomatic. Uh, the Grammys <laughs> will be held in L.A. on January 26, 2020. So stay mm -hmm. tuned for a winner. Mm -hmm. And these two stars are going to go head to head and, and play across the pond. Yeah. Uh, did you see 4,000 Miles? I did not. But Why I did love we Amy both Herzog? miss it? Because we're very busy with Broadway. <laughs> it was off Broadway. I know. In exactly. New York. <laughs> and now it will be done at London's Old Vic. This is Amy Herzog's Pulitzer finalist drama. And they're doing it at the Old Vic with amazing cast. Uh, Eileen Atkins and Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> Who are both stage right? stars as well as movie stars. That's absolutely true. And Eileen Atkins is currently on Broadway. In the right? height of the she storm. In the height of the storm. The Samuel J. Friedman so Theater. So this is all happening. It starts April 6th, 2020. Opens April 16th. Uh, Matthew Warkus will be directing. Mm -hmm. 4,000 Miles is about a 21-year-old kid named Leo, Timothy Chalamet. Are mm -hmm. you a fan of his? I bet you I are. love him. I obvious, tell. obvious. I was sensing the energy. <laughs> oh, I love him, love him. I saw him when he was off Broadway in Prodigal Son, like years and years and years ago. Oh, Patrick Shin. Come to Broadway. Right, right. right. Okay. Right. So uh, he plays this kid, Leo, and he shows up at the Manhattan doorstep of his 91-year-old grandmother, Vera. And that's Eileen Atkins. And Thank that's... you for telling us who's playing what. That's, that was helpful. <laughs> I was confused. <laughs> It'd be really interesting if they swapped roles. They like a true swap West, every, yeah. a true West every other night. Thing. Anyway, <laughs> it's going to be good if you're in London next year. There you go. There it is. Yes, and this off-Broadway play just keeps getting extended. It is the third and final extension for one of my favorite shows I've seen this year, Fires yes. in the Mirror, mm -hmm. starring Michael Benjamin Washington. This is my Anna DeVere Smith's. Originally, it was her solo show. Now, Michael Benjamin Washington has taken it over. It was originally supposed to end on... November 24th. It has been extended three times and will now end, they say for the final time, on December 22nd at Pershing Square Signature Center. Wow. What a hit. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Yeah. That's, that's my quote. You can quote me. <laughs> so good. It's so good. <laughs> there you go. Go. So You're good. welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yes, and a bunch of stage stars are coming together for this Actors Fund event. Who doesn't love Mr. Magoo? I thought you were going to say who doesn't love these <laughs> actors, but okay. Well, Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol... Is uh, uh, well, first of all, happy opening to Broadway's Christmas Carol. I told wow. you it's very Christmassy in here today. Yeah, uh, yeah. that opens tonight. Um, but Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol uh, will be done. Th it was a TV. It's a TV show, right? Isn't that what this is based on? Wasn't You're looking like at me TV? like I know things. Isn't that what it? It's not. I I don't know. You don't even know who Mr. Magoo <laughs> is, do you? I've heard of the name. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of Mr. Magoo. It's a generational thing. Anyway, I the actors fun doing this benefit. Carl Andrus will direct the cast. Sierra Vargas, Gavin Lee, Claiborne Elder, Kyle Selig, Matthew Scott, Michael Potts, and more. Mm -hmm. um, and it, this is December 16th, 7.30 at the at John Jay College at the Gerald W. Lynch Theater. It's going to be fun. 
Mm-hmm. You have options of which Christmas Carol you want to see. Oh, you can see them all. You can see Campbell Scott's or Mr. Magoo's. Or all you could just go see the Rockettes. Whatever the you Rockettes. want. The Rockettes. The Rockettes, yes. Honestly, they have animals. There's another Broadway baby in the world, and it just is the best. Oh, you guys, Kara, Lindsay had hey, she was well, here. Maybe she was here. I remember she was pregnant. Correct. She was <laughs> pregnant for what felt like for years, years. Uh, she and her husband, Kevin Massey, welcomed their son, Emerson Charles, on November 12th. They missed my birthday by one day, but I'm not mad about it. We're very excited for them. Uh, of course, Kara Lindsay is known for Newsies and Wicked and being our vlogger twice. True. So, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a great personality. Just in and she's super best. fun and, and positive. And of course, her understudy at Beautiful is also pregnant. So we're awaiting that news. Oh, oh right. It's about a month away. That's right. There's a Cute. thing with that role. There's a thing. Something's going on in that dressing room. Yeah, you can get pregnant <laughs> at Beautiful. Okay. What else? What else is on the site? Well, we have the dresser for the Phantom of the Opera. That's mm. Andrew Nelson. We got to know what he does. And I didn't know all these details. I learned, you learned so much. A lot I learned about what it's like to dress the Phantom. Yes, and about the mask. Mm. Four colors. Mm. What? Yes, there are four Whoa. colors. It's not just white. Read the thing. Watch the thing. Do the thing. Okay. Do okay. it. I wore one of those. Remember that? I do. Okay. Uh, I, did. I didn't notice the colors. <laughs> Catherine McPhee is coming back to waitress. We love her. Um, they had a little press event today at Sardi's to welcome her back. She stood in front of some posters <laughs> and posed for photos. Wow, you, you make it sound so exciting. On our site. <laughs> Well, she looked great. We're just yeah. She's married now. She was Foster not married now. before. So she's anyway. new. Giddy when the Rockettes come. Uh, and Thomas Schumacher, also his book. Uh, the, the head sh- of Disney uh, Theatrical. Yeah, it's the, um, it's the third, I believe, edition of his yes. How the Show Goes On. How does the show go? How the show. How, anyway. How the you show. went to the party. A, I did. I, went to the, I was also at Saturdays. There were posters. And he stood in front of posters. We love posters. Not we waitress posters. posters. We need some posters. <gasps> okay. okay no. We it's don't need time. Posters. For some sparkly rockets. Um, thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy part two of the inheritance. I will. <laughs> hey, Caitlin, mm-hmm. why don't you tell everyone about today's guest? Gladly, yes, guys. We have two of the Radio City Rockettes here with us in the studio today. They are sparkly. They are gorgeous. They got their hair and they got the lips. It's amazing. We have Jesse Crouch and Brooke Avery. They have been with the show. This is both their sixth and eighth seasons, respectively, I think, or eighth, or, but they've been with it for a very long time. Um, we're super excited to have them. Make sure you leave all of your questions in the comments below. You follow Brooke at Brooke Avery and Jesse at Jesse Crouch. And everyone, please welcome. We got Brooke, we got Jesse, and we got Paul. Thank you, Caitlin. Hi, Rita. That was a weird Why didn't you wear sequins today? Uh, I dig in the memo. <laughs> uh, so that's Brooke. You're Brooke Hello. and you're Jesse. Yes. Um, welcome, ladies. Thank, Thank you for having you. us. How's it going? What, what is November like for you? November's always a big month, right? It is a big month, but I feel like things definitely pick up come Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. So right now we're just kind of opening the show and introducing it to audiences. You're ramping up. Yeah, we're ramping yeah. up. for like still not crazy real, yet. Yeah. 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 Um, so let's talk. I saw the show last week. Awesome. It's become a thing now that I, I've been going with um, my cousin Heidi and her kids, Gus and Otto. They love mm. it now. Now it's their annual thing. Mm-hmm. And I'm glad that Uncle <coughs> Uncle Paul can bring them to the Radio City Rock Cats. <laughs> mm-hmm. It was spectacular. Uh, it's so good. Thank the you. The show is so good. I used to go when I was a kid. It was a real tradition. And then there were many years I didn't go. Those were the dark years. And now <laughs> it's the Renaissance. Now it's the Renaissance. I'm back. I'm back at Radio City every year. What is it like to, and you know, it's amazing the audiences that were there and all the, I mean, you feel it on the street, even Mm -hmm. walking in, you know, like there's so many people suddenly flooding the area and they're all so amped. Do you guys feel that energy? Oh, 100%. Definitely. Definitely. I mean, and I know both of us, we like live close to Midtown and we Uh live close to the theater. And so to see people walking around post-show with their Radio City bags or their Radio City Santa hats, you know, you see them flooding the streets of New York, and just to know that people are coming to see our show is it's really exciting. Well, we, well, we got the reindeer light up. Uh, oh, you did? Yes, yes. yes. You're yes. legit now. <laughs> that was the merch that we got. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, honestly, on stage, we can see out into the audience. So yeah. for me, one of my favorite parts about being on stage is actually looking out and seeing the little girls in the front row with their little rocket dolls or yep. in their little rocket costumes. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was once me when I was little. So yeah. Yeah. Um, it's just really cool to see them, and hopefully we get to inspire them like they inspired us when we were little. So. Did you both, did you also have rocket dream? Or, or, yeah. Yeah. Where did that start? Do you remember the first time that you heard what a rock hat was? 
got yes. to see what they do. So I was, I think, six or seven when I took my first um, Radio City stage door tour. Uh-huh, yeah. And that's when you tour the building, you right. tour the theater, and you get to meet a Rockette. Uh-huh. And I met a Rockette. Was she wearing something like <laughs> she this? She was wearing um, a very <laughs> traditional Rockette costume. Okay. It was almost like an usherette okay. outfit. Okay, fantastic. Um, and I have a photo with her at the Aww. age of seven. It's so funny. I'm not wearing any shoes in the photo. Sure. And I'm like, okay, wh- why aren't <laughs> I wearing any shoes? <laughs> Apparently, I kicked them off. So I could show the rocket that I knew how to kick. Oh, I love it. That's so cute. <laughs> and so I'm, I'm standing there in like a little rocket bevel beaming. So my journey to becoming a rocket started really young. Wow. Um, yeah, I think I saw the show for the first time when I was 12. And that's when I was like, oh, yeah. You grew up where? Mm-hmm. California. We okay. both did. Oh, we you're both from California. California, mm-hmm. California girls over here. Yeah. Um, yeah, similar to me, I actually saw the Christmas Spectacular when I was 14 for the first time. And that was my first time coming to New York as well. Wow. Um, my tap teacher, her mom was a rocket back in the 60s. That's kind of how I figured out who they were. Amazing. I'm back home in California, which is very far away from New York. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so I would say at 14, my dream started of becoming a rocket. And here we are. Here we are. Yeah. What's Crazy. the number one question? I'm sure it's fun when you're at a party and you're like, actually, I'm a rocket. <laughs> you, don't, you know, you don't get that very often. It's like a really special kind of, hist- there's history to it, and yeah. it's, it just feels really special to say that. What What's the number one question people ask you about the life of a rocket? What's, what's sort of the oh, go to? What, what do people want to know? I get a lot. I get a lot. Yeah, I think a lot of people ask, like, what's the number one secret of the Rockettes? And I think one that a lot of people don't know is that we actually do not touch in our kick line. So we're linked up. We do around 300 kicks per show, up to four shows in one day. So Wait, a lot of shows. What do you mean you don't touch? We're not touching we're not at touching. all. Your hands? Yeah. Yeah. Really? So we'll be linked mm-hmm. up, and it'll look like we're, you know, hugging each other. I love Brooke and everything, but we do so many kicks in a show that we actually do not touch. No, we're not going to make contact. Yes, yeah, because the, the show's already hard as it is. You know, we're doing so many kicks it's very athletic to become a rocket um so the last thing we need is our friends it's like an added us. pressure yeah so wow. we're really well, see, because it, to me as a non-dancer it seems like it would help to all be touching but i guess not i, guess, I think I it, yeah i think it's just like you, you just have to hold yeah. your own ground and wow. really use your abs and mm-hmm. really engage and we only kick eye high so mm-hmm. um so that's a few little fun facts about the rockets that a lot of people do not know hmm. yeah. yeah do you um Okay, so there's different groups of rock cats, right? Mm-hmm. How many rock cats are there total? So there's 80 of us total, okay. um, two casts of 40, 36 okay. girls on stage at one time, and then four girls per cast were swings. Okay. And who are there swing to cover? Nation. Yeah, Swing Nation. I'm actually <laughs> swing in the show myself, so uh-huh. um, I cover nine tracks in the show just wow. in case someone gets sick or injured. It's yeah. incredible. Wow. <clears throat> That's amazing. Sometimes, you know, some of her nine ladies, two of them might be on, mm-hmm. so she'll have to like carry cover a track that's not even hers. Mm-hmm. Swings yeah. have to do that all the time at Radio City. Yeah. So Because people get sick and injured quite a bit because it is such it. a rigorous schedule. Yeah. Cold and um, flu season. Yes. Yeah. How many shows are there a day? So we do up to four shows in one starts day. Starts in the morning. And that is one cast doing all four shows. Okay. Um, on the weekends, we do up to six shows, but that would be split between the two casts. So wow. the morning cast would do the first three shows, and we are the nighttime cast. We do the last three shows of the day. Wow. Yeah. So it's very rigorous. Um, if it lasted longer than six weeks, I don't know if my body could handle it, honestly, but um, yeah. it's worth all the hard work for sure. But do you yeah. have Rocket gigs in other parts of the year, or is it just at the holiday time? Yeah, they pop up every once in a while. In 2017, we did the Tony Awards. Oh, so yeah, that was course. so much. It was awesome yeah. with yeah. Uh, Cynthia Arrivo and Leslie Odom Jr. Mm-hmm. They sang uh, New York, New York while we danced behind them, right. which was amazing mm-hmm. uh, to perform at our home at Radio uh-huh. City Music Hall. And then we do, you know, a lot of other events that pop up here and there. America's Got Talent was a big one for us for uh-huh. a while. Mm-hmm. We did a USO tour around the East Coast, you know, whenever we're wanted, we'll show up for you guys. Mm-hmm. So you have to stay yeah. in shape. The rock cats, aren't, the rock cats shape. aren't like a disaster yeah. in April, May. Uh, it's I mean, like the- yeah, you know, <laughs> I, as rock cats, I really consider us athletes in diamonds. Um, uh-huh. So even though we're not doing the hard, rigorous schedule of Christmas throughout the whole year, yeah. um, it really is important that we stay in tip-top shape. You know, mm-hmm. we're in dance classes. Mm-hmm. I take a lot of bar classes personally because mm-hmm. I, like, I like those. Um, so it really just is important to stay in mm-hmm. shape all year. And Brooke, didn't you? You just did a course line, didn't you? Did. You were Christine. You could never really sing. You couldn't uh, really, yes. Um, all she couldn't do was sing. Yeah. Um, or sing. That's more like Christine. A little off key. Um, no, yeah, a course line. It was amazing to be a part of that production. Um, Where was I, that? It was at Tuts. Mm-hmm. Theater Under the Stars yep. in Houston, Texas. Mm-hmm. I've never been um, there. I've always wanted to go there. It's an amazing theater. Yeah, I'm Shout to go. out to the amazing team at Tuts. <laughs> Love you guys. They're doing Elf right now, which is oh, cool. Oh, cool. So Christmas here do. today. As you do. As you do. But yeah, no, I mean, I loved doing that. Of course, I love doing one because it's such a rocket 
like yeah, yeah, number. Totally. Yeah. You know, we're all in the straight yeah. line. We're doing the kicks. We're doing the angles. Uh-huh. Um, so that was, you know, an amazing opportunity to use my rocket background. Yeah. Um, for that. Jesse, do you have a musical theater thing too? I don't. I wish I did, but I've only ever done rockets, honestly. Wow. So that was my dream as a little girl, and uh-huh. I, I really just wanted to make that happen. So yeah. um, eight years later, here I am. Amazing. Yeah. That the show is not just Rockettes. They're, I mean, yes, Santa Claus, they're calm down. He's, <laughs> He's there. Santa we know him. We love there. Santa. There's Santa. some kids. There's some mm-hmm. belty Broadway singer type people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that, what are they called? Like, what are all the different groups called? We have the singers. Mm-hmm. Okay. We have ensemble. We have kids. Animals. Animals. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess I could have guessed I love, those names. I love my sheep, Peggy. You, <laughs> you do have a sheep. I have a the sheep. sheep. Are so cute, you guys. What does that mean exactly? That it's your sheep. <laughs> it's my, she's my sheep. <laughs> I bring her from. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> we have an amazing team of animal handlers who uh, live at Radio City with the animals. But uh-huh. I am actually a shepherd in our living nativity scene oh, okay. in the show, which has been around since 1933. Yes. The living nativity scene has so you been wa- around. So you're walking by with the sheep. That correct. Uh, okay, no, yes. The parade. There's like correct. a parade. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. Me, me and Peggy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Peggy's very, so smart. That's very Hamilton. Yeah. Isn't They're it? awesome. And right. Peggy. And it's very I'm, Hamilton. And Peggy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah I forget about Ted, sisters. too. Ted the Camel. Oh, yeah. He's been on the show for about 25 years, so Whoa. he's he's a veteran. He's a veteran. My mom yeah. loves Ted. I feel like she loves, honestly, sometimes, like, after the show, she'll be like, oh, my gosh, like, you did great, but Ted was really, really good. <laughs> Can I Ted was awesome. Ted looked, Ted looked today. really majestic Just today. Just extra. Yeah. Something's <laughs> happened to me since last year when I had some rockets here because I rode a camel in Morocco last for New Year's Eve. Oh, the so male cool. camels aren't so friendly. Ted's really? nice. Oh, Ted's nice. Very oh, nice. I don't know. These, yeah. these, the Morocco camels were over it. I oh, mean, that's so funny. Ted's, Ted's a star. So yeah. Ted well, gets cool. massages. Ted gets baths. Ted oh. gets mm-hmm. treats. Living it up. You know, Ted Ted gets the star treatment. Yeah. So, so, so and where does kind. Ted sleep at night? It's he like, sleeps in Radio City, but they're sent crazy? back to the animal sanctuary once a week so that they can roam around oh, nice. and free their legs. Yeah. You know, okay. we, take, we take good care of our animals. I, I'm sure. You can tell. Yeah. You can tell. But showbiz is fun. Animals animals get into showbiz. Totally. Yeah, yeah. totally. And you guys, of course, sleep in th- like this. Yes. You sl- you wear, yeah. You're yeah. constantly, we wake up. this is just the I look. I woke up like this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, during the Christmas season, it feels like that. Because yeah. like, we do so many shows and stuff that, you know, you're just in Christmas mode for the full six weeks. So, yeah. yeah. I'm sure. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then do you have like, a, after Christmas is over, the, do you just like, you crash in January and you're like, you won't see me for like a week. Yeah, I think two weeks for me, honestly. And then, and, and then I'll pop back up. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm alive. Don't worry. We just had to hibernate a little bit after the Christmas craziness. What are yeah. your favorite parts of the show? What surprises people most about the show? Because I feel like people maybe yeah. c- go in with with one expectation, but it, it's actually. Uh, first of all, I love all the video stuff that happens yes. in the room. It's That's really absolutely amazing. beautifully visually appealing. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. it is just gorgeous. Yeah. Mm-hmm what you are seeing on stage and you know our theater is capable of so much we have amazing Mm -hmm. digital projections the stage elevators move up and down Uh obviously there's camels and all these amazing technical elements but the orchestra pops up the orchestra pops up but really like the pictures and shapes and formations we make as rockettes 36 women doing the exact same thing at the exact same time Mm -hmm. i think that's what's so stunning to mm-hmm. the audience. You know, you, you might see us on the Today Show or the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, which is amazing, but to see us all on stage yeah. from a beautiful perspective, yeah. it's like, it's just mesmerizing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think the Christmas Spectacular really is the epitome of bringing technology and tradition together mm-hmm. to create like an unforgettable experience for everyone who comes to see it. Yeah. Um, we have traditional numbers like the, the living nativity scene and yeah. the parade of the wind soldiers. Okay, and of course, can we talk about the wind? Oh, pause. Yes, yes, we can. Pause. Pause. It's, my I lo- it's my favorite too, bro. Because <laughs> I'm still obsessed every time I watch it. Yeah. And, it. and I love how slow it builds. You know, it's this very famous number. You can look it up, I'm sure. But <laughs> mm-hmm. you guys are slowly sort of crashing and onto each other. Yeah. What does it feel like to actually be in the in the middle of all that? It's it's difficult. It's difficult. It is. It really is. You kind like, of, I noticed you're like, hang on to the one in front of you. Yeah. yeah. And then you kind of wait for the fall. Yeah, that is, I think, Rockettes in general, we're all about teamwork. And I feel uh-huh. like that moment in the show, that really is the moment where you're like, wow. Like, that is teamwork. Look at those 36 beautiful, powerful women up on stage helping each other, literally holding each other's backs yeah. as yeah. they fall like human dominoes. It's mm-hmm. absolutely crazy. Human dominoes human is dominoes. way to put it. Yeah. yeah, and I feel like it's a lot of rehearsal goes into that. We know we start with really small groups and we eventually work up to the full 36 girls. Mm. Um, but it really does take every single person to do the exact same steps every single show mm-hmm. um, for it to go right. So yeah. I love that moment. I think for me, that dance, my first year as a Rocket, 
not only putting on that costume for the first time, but just doing that dance. Every single Rocket who has been a Rocket since 1933 has done that same exact dance yeah. and worn that same exact so costume. Yeah. It is so special. And like that was the moment where I was like, wow, mom, I made it. I'm a Rocket. Like that was so special for me. Mm -hmm. um, and that is like my favorite dance in the show. For Absolutely. Sure. Mm -hmm. Do you ever meet former Rockettes? Yeah, all yeah, the totally. time. Yeah. They'll come and see the show and mm -hmm. they'll be like, I was a Rocket <laughs> yeah. the other day, which is. It is cool. It is cool. It's really cool. And it's something that, you know, like, we all share in common, it's so special. Mm -hmm. Like not, I don't know, I wish there was a number to say like, there are this many Rockettes who mm -hmm. have ever existed in the world, because right. it's not a lot. No, yeah. And you know, there's just like an unspoken connection and sisterhood between um, all of us and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think that's my favorite part about mm -hmm. the job is just the friendships that you make. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, we're gonna grow old one day, we're totally. not gonna be able to dance as well as we, <laughs> as we can right now. But for me, like the friendships that I've built with my Rocket sisters, they will be there with me throughout my whole life. Yeah. Yeah. And it sounds cheesy, but it really is that, that is my favorite part about being a Rocket. And I feel mm -hmm. like once you're a Rocket, you're always a Rocket. I'm a firm believer in that. So even when we're 80 in our rocking chairs, yep. we're still Rockets, you know? Mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah, that's my favorite part for sure. I yes. love it. Uh, hey, Kayla, yes. what are people online asking? <laughs> yes, so Joan wants, could you break down what the actual schedule is like for a rocket? Mm -hmm. What are the show schedules? How the the one group, another group? What's that all like? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So before we get into shows, it's about six hours a day, six days a week for six weeks of rehearsal leading Oof. up. Wow. So we rehearse a lot before we even get to shows. And then once we get to shows, I would say each rocket does about sixteen shows a week, oh, and wow. up to at least four in one day. Huh. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of shows. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of work. Holy moly. Yeah, so going off of that, Fred wants to know, so you get, like, can you explain what that rehearsal process looks like? Do you go through the whole show? Do you go number by number? Yeah, um, we yeah. start with our biggest number, which is New York at Christmas, which is the number with the double-decker bus in it. Uh, it takes about three days to learn that number. I love the costume change. Thank you, number, us too. Way. This is the costume yep. we wear yeah. in that number. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we start with that one, and then we kind of go in show order from mm -hmm. there, I would say. Yeah, and so for reference, the New Yorker Christmas number is actually 10 minutes long, and we learned that in three days. So mm -hmm. they kind of throw stuff at us pretty quickly, so it is our job to kind of pick up every single detail um, as quickly as possible in the rehearsal right. process. And then like if we're doing Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, like we're starting rehearsals for that on Friday. Um, so that usually, well, usually you take about two or three days to learn that dance for the parade. And mm -hmm. then we'll have street rehearsal next week on mm -hmm. Tuesday, I believe. And then we'll perform live on Thursday. So, wow. and we do all of this during the day and mm -hmm. then we do shows at night. Mm -hmm. So it's right. like your brain is rehearsing something different than the show you're doing mm -hmm. at, in the evening. Mm -hmm. I know that's common Are there amongst ever Broadway mishaps? too. Perhaps. I saw a minor, <laughs> minor, minor mishap. Like, what do you mean? Like, like a technical element or like a choreographical no, element? No, no, no. Like, I, you know what I saw? You know the red cheeks? Oh, yes. Oh, those yeah. fell off. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, there's, unfortunately, so you're Raggedy Ann's that you are? We're yeah, rag, we have a of, number with where we're rag dolls. Rag and then dolls, in the Parade yeah. of the Wooden Soldiers, our toy soldier number, yeah, yeah, we're wearing okay. the cheeks. Right. And One it would be it would be lovely if we could paint them on, but there's mm -hmm. no time for that. So, <laughs> so we just um, we put them on with double stick tape. It just shows you how hard we're working because we're that sweaty. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, my cheeks do fall off sometimes because yes. I sweat a lot. So, yeah. you know, it yeah. happens. And honestly, like it is live theater, so stuff yeah. does, does happen. Yeah. But, you know, it kind of switches things up a little bit. Absolutely. So. Yeah. Like that yes. kept me really entertained. Yeah. I was watching her. I was trying to see if she would break from it. She didn't. She, she didn't. Like, oh. This is my thing. Yeah. I punch she. Yeah. Yes. That's right. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Nina wants to ask if you could, what's your guesstimate number of the amount of kicks you do in a show? Oh. So we do around 300 kicks per show. Per show. Up to four shows in one day. Uh. So that's 1,200 kicks, yeah. right? Yeah. So that's casual. a lot. Super casual. Yeah, casual. <laughs> casual. We, uh, yeah, it's a lot of kicks. But we get to take ice baths and stuff after shows. So we actually have athletic trainers. They tape mm -hmm. our feet for us. Um, we take ice baths um, just really to make sure that we can do the show properly the next day wow. and the day after that and so on and so forth. So, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. It really looks like you are touching each other, though. No, I'm like picturing yeah, the kick line. I have to see it again now. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> All right, we can do one last question. And so uh, Courtney wants to know, you guys spoke about this a little bit, but what do you guys do for the other nine months of the year? Yeah. We do a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. We're very diverse Yeah, on the line. <laughs> totally. Yeah, so I actually do, I'm a real estate agent in my off season, mm -hmm. um, as well as I still dance cool. and stuff in the off season. So, so cool. I think that's one of the coolest things about Rockettes is like we are so d diverse in the sense that we're all – we all have different interests. Mm -hmm. We're all we all come from different walks of life, mm -hmm. and um, so in the off season, you know, I'm a real estate agent, but one of my good friends, um, she actually is an accountant. So you know, we have different. And then we have 
uh, Rockettes who have four kids yeah, who are sure. moms full yeah. time. You know, yeah. I like to go off and do other shows. Mm-hmm. And You're I like a choreographer to too, aren't you? Don't I dabble. You? Okay. <laughs> Come on. Okay, I saw your yeah. website. <laughs> <laughs> Casual. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so there's all sorts of. We interests. all do something different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it feels like maybe everyone just like 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 it. I don't know. It almost like you all just like go into like a, a resort and then like you just come out <laughs> in October. Nice, they let you out. It's just yeah. Like, we're like little butterflies, goes... you know, like we're cooking. Yeah, that's how we're, we're in hibernation. Yeah, we're in hibernation. <laughs> I wish that'd be nice if we were at a resort for nine months out of the year, but you know, there's other things we got to do. Yeah. <laughs> you know, another secret. I don't. Does it? Has it always snowed after the show? It snowed. In yeah. front of the in front of the theater, it's snow because I, I my, my my little nephews were yeah. like, it's snowing yeah. and then across the street, and it, it's not snowing. Yeah. But anyway, it's just well. Every night it will snow inside the theater. It's very magical. Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah. You don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss don't, it. Well, yeah, inside and out. Um, yeah. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much for oh, coming. Thank you. I hope you have an amazing. So so the show is going through the holidays yes. to what, January fifth. January 5th, yes. um, you have a lot of opportunities to see the Radio City Christmas Spectacular, and you're going to want to see it. Maybe every year, like yeah. me. Yeah. Maybe we twice a year there. sometimes. Multiple times. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank have you. Have a great and Merry Christmas. Thanks. Uh, you're Merry the first Christmas. people I've said that to this year. I know. <laughs> I'll We're say honored. to you too, Caitlin. Merry Thanks. Christmas. Merry Christmas. I love Christmas. Caitlin, take us out. Yes. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We are live at 5 every single weekday here on Facebook. You can listen to us wherever you get your podcasts by searching for hashtag live at 5 and hitting that subscribe button. Be sure to tune in tomorrow when we continue to talk to some of your favorite Broadway people.